Hi there, I'm Sarah and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this month's edition of In The Garden. So we are now in June and the biggest problem, the biggest thing going on in the garden this month is pests. I, this year, slugs, because it's been so wet, slugs are really bad, they're a big problem. Um, well, I say big problem, they're only affecting my pepper plants and my strawberries. Um, but it is a bit annoying. The first job this month is to, if you have pests, to start to fight them. You can do, depending on what is like eating your vegetables and causing the problem in your garden, you can do loads of research, you Google whatever it is. Um, like if it's slugs, for example, you can Google how to get rid of slugs and there'll be so much um, information will come up. I have gone and bought a slug killer this year. Now, this is just a Wilkinson slug killer. This is the first year I've ever used slug killer um, because it's not very nice. Basically, it contains metaldehyde, which is poisonous and can kill if it's eaten. So it's nasty stuff. Um, the only place I'm going to put this is in my raised bed around my pepper plants because that seems to be the only thing that is getting eaten by the slugs. Um, uh, Rosalie doesn't really go in, well Ralph, we have a dog so if it, they're p fatal to dogs if they're eaten so I can't put them anywhere outside of the raised beds but he doesn't go in the raised bed so that should be fine in there. I still am a bit nervous about using it. We don't really seem to be suffering with any other sort of pest problem. Um, in the past I've suffered with loads of caterpillars and white cabbage butterflies but I didn't grow, that was on my broccoli plants, I didn't grow broccoli for that one reason because it was unmanageable and I oh I also have an ant problem um, which I'll show you that's actually in my raised bed in the soil and I'm not really sure what I can do I've tried stuff in the past I've tried putting down I think it's like bicarbonate of soda and um, powdered sugar um, but that didn't seem to work they're definitely still there something's nibbling my pea plants at the bottom anyway and I think that's what it is yeah so I haven't really got on any advice to offer on ants if you're suffering from those if you have any tips I would love to know well, the next job in the garden this month is to start to feed your vegetables. Um, I have bought some tomato feed and I am going to begin to feed my tomato plants. You can just see them in the background where Rosalie sit in front of them. Um, I'm beginning to get some fruit on some of them already so I definitely need to start um, feeding them. I've actually I've decided I'm going to feed all my plants the same thing. You can use tomato feed on peppers and cucumbers as well. Um, but I was looking in Wilkinson's there is my tomato feed that I got from Wilkinson's. So when I was in there, they also sold a fruit and vegetable feed, but it had exactly the same ingredients as the tomato feed. It was just packaged differently. So I didn't think there was any different, well, it had exactly the same ingredients in, but this was bigger, but this was the best value way to buy it. So I just bought the tomato feed and I'm gonna actually use that on all my plants in the garden. Obviously, you need to weed and water your vegetables as you go. Um, I weed as soon as I see a weed, I pull it out so that um, it got rid of it and it doesn't take up any valuable nutrients. Sorry, I keep looking in the background. Rosalie is currently watering the plants. So, trying to keep an eye on her. Watering, as a rule, if it's rained, I won't water. <laughs> but if um, it's been a hot day, I will water. And then in between that, I'll just water every two or three days. Now onto the fun stuff. You should be getting some vegetables that are beginning to ripen in your garden. So, so far in our garden, we have picked some lettuce leaves. We've picked some kale. A we've kale. Kale, yes. What else have we picked? Um, some spinach. Um, that's about it really. Oh, and our tomato our strawberries are beginning to ripen and go red. So we're gonna pick some of those today, aren't we? We're gonna pick some strawberries. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. After this video, I'll go around and I'll show you what we're picking in the garden. And the last job that I would recommend doing in the garden this month is to, if any of your plants have gone over, in our case, I have some spinach that has bolted. Um, that just means that basically it's run to seed. Um, normally it happens if there's like extreme change in temperature, which is what we've had a lot of this last month we've had loads of sun lots of weather when it's been really hot and sunny and then it's been really quite cold anyway the spinach has run to seed they are prone to it and it happens nearly every year in our garden um, 
but once it's over I just pull it out and I'll plant something else in its place. So this time because my peppers have been eaten by the slugs I am going to plant another pepper plant in its place. Slugs! Evil slugs! I'm now just going to show you how the garden's looking. I'm also going to do some weeding and we're going to do some weeding and then we're going to pick some vegetables. We're going to pick some vegetables. So here is my salad bed. As you can see the lettuces are growing well. We've been harvesting some of those. I'm going to cut one of those off now and take that in. Um, the spin, this is the spinach. This is what I mean by it bolting. You can see that leaves have gone a funny shape. These are all the seeds coming up. Um, you can still eat spinach when it's like this but it does tend to taste a bit bitter so I'm going to pull those out and I'm going to plant a pepper plant in there. This is my cucumber plant which is growing nicely. Those are my other pepper plants. Look what the evil slugs have done to them. So I will show you once I've laid some pellets down there. I'm just going to put them around the pepper plants and hopefully they'll still grow. Over here we have some strawberries. We've got a ripe one at the back here and another ripe one here. And then so we can pick those. This one's been eaten by an evil slug or snail and another little strawberry we can pick there. These are our tomato plants which are growing well. I've got a few little tomatoes on there so now I'm going to start feeding them. This is my vegetable bed so we've got the courgette here, we've got the kale. I've actually picked a lot of that so there's... It's looking a bit sparse because we've been eating lots of it haven't we? Eating lots of kale in your smoothies. These are some leeks. We've got beetroot here, carrots there, and peas at the back. So there you go, you can see a little pea on there. They are still growing, but this is what I mean by the ants that are eating my plants. We have another strawberry plant here, which is growing well. Another tomato plant here. Another tomato plant here. And a Ooh. and a pepper plant which I am going to plant pop, pop. out into pop, pop, pop. a pepper plant so here is my garden after I have laid my slug pellets you can see those you're not supposed to do them in too much quantity because obviously if they were to be eaten then they can be fatal so you need to try and separate them there's my pepper plant that I put in where the peppers were and then there's those two pepper plants which I hope will perk up now the slugs will hopefully stop eating them Probably too little, too late. Are you going to show you what we got then, Rosie? Yeah. What, what have we got? We got some lettuce. Lettuce. Yeah, are you going to show the camera? Lettuce. Lettuce. And we got some kale. And kale. We picked some of this this morning, didn't we? Because we needed it for your smoothie. Mm -hmm. So we got some loose red lettuce leaves. Lettuce <laughs> We got three beans. Wow, well, peas. We got three peas and we got four strawberries. How many strawberries? Two and two. How many is that? Four. Four strawberries.